Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. So um, this this presentation, this webinar is actually a, a part two of, of the, the first one I did last month, which was Mimosa's point to point. Um, before I go in into more details about what today's webinar will be, my name is Trish. I am the product manager here at Mirror Distribution for Mimosa Networks. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, before I do, I, do, I would just like to touch on a few, you know, just a, a few points on, on who Mirror is, what we do. Um, for those of you who are new, um, you know, this is something we feel is very important. Just to give you a bit of a, a clearer uh, view on who we are, what we do, and why we are we should actually be your preferred business partner in, in this industry. So uh, the first point is 18 years in the, in the industry. That means that we actually have um, been around for quite some time, uh, you know, um, through the evolution of the technologies that have come out over the years. We know what we're doing. You know, we're trained up to make sure that we, we, we offer the best solution to our clients and the industry and relevant to our economy. Um, then the next thing is we are part of a larger group, which is Hudeco. Um, and we sell over to, we sell to over 35 countries nationwide. Um, uh, also, we have five branches. We have one in Durban, um, Cape Town, Nelspray, Harting, and in Kenya. So for those of you who might need or who have business outside outside South Africa and you see that you need to get um, stock or you know equipment outside for your other projects, you can always reach out to our Kenya branch who will then, uh, you know, it's easier to then get your equipment from, from a closer uh, branch to then have to come all the way this side. So that's pretty convenient. And then amongst um, all our branches, we've got over 170 qualified staff members, you know, to assist you ranging from training, pre-sales, sales, uh, and, and a variety of trained staff members. And then also in our product catalog, we have over to uh, 2,500 items available. And then lastly, every 12 seconds, we ship uh, a new product to our clients. So that just goes to show that, you know, we're very, we take that very um, seriously. We know that our clients need the equipment on time in the right place. And we make sure that we ship your, your equipment to you when you need it, where you need it. Okay, the next thing is why Miro? So obviously we have a bunch of value added services. Um, you know, which we, we, we feel is very important for our clients to ensure that the, 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 they, their projects is completed, you know, and, and has everything it needs from the beginning to the start, from the start to the end. So to look at some of those um, value added services, the first one is tailor made solution. So what this means is, you know, Mirror will not just sell you a box. We we don't believe in that. We, we strictly believe that, you know, we are trained up um, to to assist our clients on a on a on a more um, advanced level. So when we talk about tailor made solutions, if you have an idea or you have a project that you would like us to assist you with, you can come through to us. You can give us a call. You can set up a meeting with us, and we will then um, help you uh, find a solution. Um, you know exactly for your application so that's something we, we really strive on at no cost to you it's something that we feel is of value to our clients who are starting up also um, you know we want to be there to ensure that we give you the information you need to be successful okay then the next thing is a complete solution so it's a one-stop shop that's what we're trying to get to i think we're almost there um, in terms of having everything you need for your your project you know starting from the cabinets to the rj connectors to the smallest uh, smallest accessory up to the largest you know your masts your equipment ranging from your wi-fi broadband mobile infrastructure security networking so you know, it's a broad um, range of products that we offer and solutions. So we make sure that it's easy for you if you pop into our 
our branches and, and get things for your project that we have everything ready for you. You don't have to waste time going around looking for um, the parts for your project. Okay, the next thing is support. So that's something we, we do um, thrive on. Um, you know, we are trained by our vendors, um, uh, certified and trained by our vendors to assist our clients. This is uh, this is something we, we take very, very, um, you know, we don't take very lightly. Uh, so if you need support, also this, um, you know, calling in, emailing, we will support you at no cost to, to to your to your application or your company, but we've also now introduced um, on-site support. That is, um, you know, we, we do charge for that because, of course, our technicians are taking a day out of the of the of the of the office to go on-site and assist you setting up your your radios, for instance, or whatever you may need. Um, but if you're interested in that, you can contact us at um, support at mirror.co.za to find out more about how that on-site support works. But if you have any um, support issues you might need, if your technician is out on site and quickly needs to, to ask a question about something he's purchased, you can quickly pop us a call and get on, on the line with one of our technicians and we can assist you via the phone. Um, so, yeah, we, we definitely make sure that we want to help you guys to the best of our ability. And then also legal compliance, as you guys know, this is very, very important. You know, you have um, your regulatory bodies such as NRCS, ICASA, uh, for other countries outside Africa, you've got CRAN for Namibia, you've got ZICTA for Zambia. Um, this is something we also take very, very seriously. We don't just uh, sell products that are not in accordance. So this is something we we make sure of um, and, and ensure that our clients have legal products. Um, but yeah, as you know, for some for some of you who might have bigger projects and networks out there, you know, ICASA will do their random checks and they will come and check whether you've purchased legal equipment. So this is something we take uh, very seriously to make sure that if these checks do happen, you know, we can, we have the type approval at hand for our clients and, you know, you don't get into trouble with uh, regulations. Uh, but this is something to also note. And then also something that not many of our competitors offer, but we are proud to offer is financing. So um, when I say financing, we mean hardware financing. Uh, this is this means that say for instance if you have a tender or project but don't necessarily have the the, the hardware or, or you know money to, to purchase this at the moment you can you can come to mirror and say listen I have this project I have this 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 application I'd like to to get up and running but I do need hardware financing um, will definitely uh, hear you out. Obviously, there are some terms and conditions that apply, but at least it's it's nice to know that there is that solution out there for, you know, if you need that extra help from us. And then, of course, the last thing is run rate terms. Um, we do offer run rate. Um, we we do offer term terms account on our run rate um, business. So uh, we offer terms up to from seven days up to thirty days, which means that you can buy your your products now and you have from seven to thirty days um, to pay off your account. Okay, and then lastly is training. So. We are very big on training. We've always been big on training. We used to have, um, you know, trainings at all of our branches. would send out our, our training team, our trainers, to do um, trainings at all the branches. But obviously, since COVID happened, we've now moved that entirely onto an online platform, which is called uh, Mirror Academy. Um, I, I urge you to check that out when you have time. There's everything you need there. Certified, introductory, there's everything. Um, that you might need um, to know on a specific brand, and what's nice about that is we're cons uh, you know we're consistently uh, um, updating that that platform to make sure that the information there is relevant and the technology explained there is relevant. And yeah, it's really a cool platform to to get your text on or yourself or your business uh, something to take advantage of. Okay, guys, that's that's everything about Miro. I hope so, for those of you who are new, um, you 
maybe taken something away from that. I quickly see a question from Daniel here. Is there a web page with more info on financing? Daniel, what I'll do is um, you could drop your email here or I can quickly drop mine. Just pop me a blank email if you have to and just caption it. A subject line can be IPFIN and I will send you um, all the information you need. And unfortunately, it's not on a web page. Um, it is as a request. So, um, when, if you could just pop me an email and just say I'm interested in, in financing, I will send you all the relevant document. Okay, so let's start, guys. This is the let's get into the main reason why we're here. So, as I said to you, um, we did do a session last month, which was point to point on Mimosa. And for those of you who might have missed that, there's my email address. Um, let me know if you would like the slides, if you would like a call, whatever. I'm happy to do that. Uh, but in this session, we are going to be looking at Mimosa's point to multi point um, solutions. Okay. So, just to give you a bit of uh, a background on Mimosa, they have been in the industry for a while. They are making, a, 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 you know, good, good, um, they are making waves in, in the industry right now. And it, it, it is an amazing product. Um, you know, we're seeing clients going crazy over uh, most of the the point to point devices as well as the point to multi point devices and we just want to get that out there and let you guys know that yes it might not be as big as your other brands as your cambium to ubiquities but it's definitely one to look at and one to try out uh, before we get into the things uh, before we get into more uh, details uh, I do also want to mention that Miro does offer POCs. Now, how that works is that you are able to test equipment. Um, uh, for more information on that, like I said, there's my email address. If you would like to do a POC and find out more about how that works, you can um, send me an email and I'll let you know, um, give you more details on exactly how we do that. Okay, but now just to look at some of the the main um, keys or focus points of Mimosa and what they provide. Uh, they provide fiber fast connectivity to urban, suburban and hard to reach, reach rural areas. So they are versatile applications and you can use them in highly dense urban areas in uh, hard to reach rural areas. We actually have a case study um, on, on a project in a rural area which is doing really well. Um, then the next thing is price to performance, far superior to copper. Yes, guys, we have to not ignore that, the fact that, yes, fiber is king, and we know that, but sometimes, you know, it's not always the, 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 the right solution for the right time, you know. We always need the, that um, something to fall back on, and, and this is the type of solutions that Miro offers to ensure that you can keep your project going. Because, you know, remember, like with trenching, that can take months and months and months. Yes, you, you might want to go with fiber, but in the meantime, you know, you don't want to leave your clients, um, you know, just stranded. What you can do is look at something like Mimosa, put up a temporary link and, um, you know, give them connectivity until your project, your trenching is done, everything is good to go, you're up and running, and then obviously reuse that temporary um, wireless link elsewhere. So that's that's a very uh, useful way to use um you know, brands like, like Mosa. And then the third point is unprecedented levels of efficiency um, across, as you know, your five gigahertz is, is quite crowded, but um, with their SRS technology, their TDMA, and, and all the little nice perks of, of their, their devices, you're able to use the spectrum a bit more efficiently. Uh, and then lastly, rapid, easy uh, deployment of voice, video, and data services. So this just says, this just says that um, it is a very versatile product. You can use it for multiple um, ranges of application. Okay, and then as I mentioned, I will not take too much time on this because it is repeating itself, but we've got the rural, um, we've got the suburban, we've got the urban, and then we've got the private public, public Wi-Fi um, and a digital device. So as you can see, it's a very versatile product, can be used in multiple um, solutions. Okay. So um, modern fixed wireless architecture. So these are just some of the pillars on what, yes, most of the wireless products, um, you know, focus on. But uh, this is Mimosa's um, four pillars, if I might say. So obviously it's MIMO, you know, multiple in, multiple out. You're able to serve more clients. 
um, get more capacity. So that's one of the main focuses. The next thing is TDMA. As you know, that it's very important. It, it um, you know mitigates interference. Um, so that's something they've also integrated, like many other wireless brands, um, into their product. Um, and then sync uh, spectral reuse. That's their SRS feature that has also been um, added to their portfolio of products. And then, of course, network orchestration. Now, that's the cloud. And which what what's so nice about Mimosa's network um, uh, software tools is that they do not charge you anything to use it. So starting from the design tool to the management tool, you do not have to pay you know, outrageous licenses in order to use their platforms. That is um, good news for any for any ISP. Okay, and then just looking at a quick um, image, just to show you how, how it would work. So say for instance, your fiber, you know, you, you, your fiber starts here and you wanna get it across to 50 kilometers to the other side, but you don't necessarily wanna trench. You'll then plug up a, a, a backhaul radio up to another backhaul radio, which you will then power your point to multipoint radio, and then you will connect your home. So that's just a simple image, which I'm sure most of you know how this application works. Um, but that's just an example of how easy it could be, you know, instead of trenching 50 kilometers and never finishing, um, that's how you could actually yeah, sort out your solution quickly with a wireless um, route. Okay, then looking at the product range, very easy. Um, a is for access, B is for backhaul, C is for client. Um, a antenna is your uh, antennas for your access points. C antennas are your antennas for your client device. And then, like I said, you've got your cloud management, your software tools, and your network design tools, which are all free of charge. Okay, so looking, now we're going to go into the different products and their specs. So in the picture to your left, you've got your micropop setup. So that would basically be for like an estate, you know, if you want to get into a nice estate, but you don't necessarily want to trench and damage the roads and put cables in places people don't want them and it just looks untidy you know you put up a good neat setup like that as you see in the picture you put a cp on each house a little tiny device which is not noticeable and you are connected um, but let's let's see so as i said uh, urban suburban uh, rural solutions spectrum saving gps sync um, industry leading throughput business grade consumer affordable. So this, those are some of the um, key selling points. Okay, so now looking at the access points. Okay, so the first one that they brought out was the A5s. Um, this was an integrated, um, it was basically built for the Micropop and it is integrated with a with an antenna inside. But we, we have seen that um, that one is not as popular uh, because mostly because it's limited to, to throughput. Uh, but now we've seen that the A5C has taken over and it's doing very well. We've got the A5C with a 1.5 gigabit throughput. And um, this is obviously for long distance. If you pay it with a sector antenna, which I will cover in the next few slides, you can get really good distances and obviously perfect for micropops, a good throughput. You can pair it with the omnidirectional antenna. Um, okay, so looking at a bit more into the A5C, as I mentioned, it is a 1.5 aggregate uh, gigabit per second aggregate radio. Um, you can do co-location with it thanks to the GPS technology. Um, then the, uh, the capacity, client capacity. So if you're using it on the proprietary SRS Mimosa of um, protocol, you will be able to hook up to 44 clients on the, on one access point. And if you do Wi-Fi interrupt, which means you're obviously then doing third party, yes, you can hook up 100 clients, but then you will not be necessarily gaining or experiencing all the perks of, you know, using a proprietary um, software or, or a solution. Um, also to note is that um, Mimosa, all of their products has extended frequencies in it, um, built into the into one device, so you don't have to jump from device to device. If you want to go from license to unlicensed, 
um, you can select, um, you see 4.9 to 6.4, um, obviously what is legal in South Africa, but what's nice about that is if you say, for instance, a startup ISP, and you want to start up in five gigahertz, you can put up your equipment and later on you see, listen, uh, my business is doing really well. I can now move out of the noise, out of the, the interference. You know, you can easily just go and uh, get your license from Ikasa, uh, switch your radio into licensed and you're good to go. You don't need to take down anything. You don't need to change anything. It's literally just changing the license on your device. Um, so that is your access point for your point to multi point um, solution. Okay, and then just looking at the, the difference, I will show you the A5X. So basically the A5X is just uh, the baby version of the A5C. It does exactly everything that the A5C does, but just half of it, literally throughput half, everything is half on, on the A5X. So as you can see, the A5C can do beam forming, of course, with the three, Mimosa's 360 omnidirectional antenna and is used for micropop setups. And, and then you can see the second one, the A5X, that not necessarily used for micropops because it cannot be paired with the omnidirectional antenna. As you can see, it only has two connectors at the top of the radio over here. So that one is mostly for your tower deployments and your long distance uh, deployments. Um, but then if we look at the bullet points here, we can see it says four by four antenna. So these have four ports at the bottom and Mimosa have their own four port sector antenna and four port omnidirectional antenna. And then it says extended range performance with beam forming. Okay, I've covered that with the omnidirectional. And then looking at the A5X, we've got two by two antennas. This is mostly compatible with, of course, the relevant third party antennas. Um, but you know, it's always better to just use proprietary uh, products just for the best um, um, outcome, if I may say, or best results. So Mimosa also have their two by two sector antennas, which I will show you in the next coming slides. Um, obviously, like I said, um, this is a lower power, uh, usage product and also lower price than your A5X. And um, the throughput on the A5X is about 700 megabits per second. That is about six rand per megabits per second, which is quite impressive. Okay, so now looking at the, the sector antenna, um, as you can see the picture on your right, you've got the A5X X there paired up with your two port sector antenna. So just looking at some of the the um, throughput, the orange is your uplink, the blue is your downlink. So we're looking at about, yeah, okay. So on the first one, you're looking at about 380 on your downlink and you're looking at 350 on your uplink. That's a total of 730 megabits per second. So as you can see through the different ones, depending on which configuration, configuration you, you set it to, you've got 50-50, you've got 75-25, um, but generally the total throughput is quite impressive. And as I said, six it's about six megabits per, per megabits per second. That is quite a um, cost-effective solution. Okay, so uh, looking at the A5X, Paired with the with the sector antenna, which I just showed you, that would probably be your access point setup, and then at your end device, you would then have a C5X, uh, which I will get into. So those are the client devices which are up for grabs for today. Um, you will be getting two of them. The winner will be getting two of them. And um, remember, these are super versatile. You can use them in point-to-point -point or point-to-multi-point setup. Um, okay, so now looking at your client devices, you've got the first one, the C5X. Um, this one is a, a very, very cool product because you've got four different antenna options. So the CPE as is comes with an 8 dBi integrated antenna into it. So that's obviously for your short distance and, and you don't necessarily need to add on an antenna. But of course, if you want to go a bit further, You've got your other options. You've got 12, 16, 20, and 25 dBi. Those are simply twist-on antennas. It's super easy for installation, and uh, yeah, it's hassle-free. 
And then you've of course got the C5C, that is also a point-to-point, point-to-multipoint device. Um, the C5C is basically uh, the same thing as the C5X, only that it's connectorized, allowing you to do greater distances with it. Um, this is compatible with the uh, with third-party antennas. Of course, it's a dual um, reverse polarity SMA. Make sure that the third-party antenna is compatible. But the only reason these came out was for for distance, um, because obviously the C5X is limiting in the fact that the biggest antenna that you can see there is a 25 dBi. Okay. Uh, and just looking a bit more into that, um, we've got the C5X, as I said, is the ABBI, and then we've got the horns, which is the 12 and the 16 dBi, and then the two, which is very popular in mirror currently stocks, is the 20 and the 25 dBi. And um, also, there is some, some options that you can look at with RF elements as well. So they've got this really nice little adapter um, that you can plug onto your C5X and you can explore some of the RF um, element options there. So that's something also to look into. Um, and then as I said, simple twist on, as you can see in the image there, you literally just twist on your, your antenna of choice, pop the pin, and you're good to go. It's no, no problems, um, no cables or, or all that stuff. It's super easy and, yeah, it's uh, efficient. Okay, and then the C5C, um, as I mentioned, same as the C5X, these are going out like hotcakes, you will not believe. Um, of course, they can be paired with any third party. As I said, please just make sure that the connectors are correct on your third party antenna. Um, but yeah, the throughput on this is 700 megabits per second aggregate. Um, but yeah, exactly like your C5, C5X. Okay, and then we've got the two-port sector antenna. Um, this are 45 degrees antennas. Guys, we do not have many like these in, in the industry right now. Um, so they are, you know, something to, to look at if you want to get out of interference because you know that most of your other sectors operate in your 90, 180, so forth. Um, so, you know, you want to kind of be different and get out of the noise. So you can look at something like a 45 degree sector antenna. Um, this is the two by two uh, dual connectorized. Uh, and then we've got the bigger option, which is the four, D, uh, four port, 22 dBi. And sorry, let me just go back here. What's really nice about these little ones, the two port, is that you can actually pair them with third party devices such as your your um, ubiquity and your cambium i'm not exactly sure which um, cp uh, which um, client devices or access points can be paired with it but i do know it's third party um, compatible um, obviously that's that's for you to make sure that you find out and make sure before you you pair anything together um, and then of course the four port which is really nice you can get, um, you know, if you, if for instance, you see that your A5X, A5C is limited to a gig, but then you have two other access points which can do more than that. You can chuck on two third-party and um, radios on that one antenna, you know, to get more throughput, and um, that's, you, you, you know, you can play around with it and 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 pair other third-party devices to make the best solution for yourself, which is really nice. It's super versatile. Um, that too is 45 degrees and um, designed for beam forming with the uh, A5C. Okay. And then just to show you a, a bit of a little diagram, they're showing you that the, the, the side load rejection, as you can see, is quite good. Um, you know, you won't have problems. Uh, so that's just showing you the pattern which they've taken from uh, their N545 just to show you that it is actually a really good antenna and it is highly reliable. Okay, then looking at some of the deployments, for example, we've got long range. So for your long range high capacity, you would then obviously pair your A5C with your four port sector antenna. Looking at mid range, you would then, um, you would then pair your A5X with your uh, two port sector antenna and then 
as I mentioned, third-party access point, you're more than welcome to pair them with third-party APs. Obviously, please make sure that um, you know it, it will work. You can ask us, you can ask our tech team to just double check for you if there will be any issues, you know, um, in pairing the two together. Okay, and then like I said, with the MicroPop solution, um, I don't think I mentioned that, but when you put the A5C and the, and the omnidirectional antenna together, you're only limited to about 500 meters of 360 coverage, which is, you know, it's not massive distance, but you know, if you're looking to cover one estate, that could be a really good solution. But now, for instance, if you want to cover a neighborhood, um, you are you are able to do that with Mimosa. And as you can see, that setup over there, we have um, eight access points and we have eight sector antennas, 360, and per access point, you are able to hook up 44 clients. If, of course, you're using proprietary um, software, then you're able to use um, link up 44 clients per access point. So you can hook up to, um, let me see, let's quickly calculate that. So if we say 44 times eight, you can get up to 350 clients on that setup. Um, 360 degrees up to 20 kilometers. Of course, guys, I can sit here and say 20 kilometers, and yes, it's all great and everything, but um, planning is always important, and you know that's something that Mirror also offers free of charge to you. If you have any um, questions or you'd like to see how a certain product would do for a certain project you have in mind, you know, send us the coordinates, send us what you have in mind, and we will do planning for you. You know, planning is, is like the closest thing you have to the real thing and the best um, estimation that you might have, you know, in, 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 instead of just saying, yeah, 20 kilometers. And, and just to give you a, a bit more of an idea of what exactly that product can do. So planning is always essential. But according to some of the links out there, these have gone up to 20 kilometers. So that's some, that's some really good distance. Okay, and then looking at the omnidirectional antenna, so this has 480 um, panels uh, inside it. So they overlap each other, um, which allows beamforming to, to take place with, when using these omnidirectional antennas. Um, like I said, these are, can do at only about 500 meters. Of course, you can create hops, which is really nice. Um, you can also do that if you don't want to, you know, put a massive um, like that. If you don't want to do that and you want to maybe cover a kilometer or a kilometer and a half, you can do a few hops uh, with your A5C um, and your omnidirectional and you can get some good coverage. Um, but just note that, of course, the, this omnidirectional antenna is mostly used with the A5C and not the A5X. And I have heard of some third-party um, APs um, being used with this and it's doing quite well. So like I said also, it is third-party um, uh, applicable. It is applicable to third-party devices, but please make sure from us that it will work and, you know, we don't want to say, yes, it's third-party and then you go into site and this thing's not working. So, yeah, just pop us a, an email or a call and just let us know, listen, I want to pair this on me with this device. Let me know if it will work and we'll, we'll guide you um, through your to your questions. Okay, um, and then of course, I, sorry I forgot to mention, the omnidirectional is a 15 dBi omni antenna. Okay, then looking at the Micropop architecture, as I mentioned to you guys, Micropop is, um, is for mostly your closed or dense um, applications, like your estates, I've already explained. Um, this is a perfect solution for it, uh, you know, pairing your A5C with your Omni, you can get a nice little Micropop setup for yourself there. These A5s are still around, it's just that they're not as popular, but listen, if you have a project that you have, that you'd like to use these for, come tomorrow, chat to us, we'll see what we can bring in for you and what we can do for you. Okay, and as I mentioned, uh, this can also be used for long range, just simply switching the antenna from a omni to a sector antenna. Okay, then just looking some at looking at some of the accessories, we've got the J mount, we've got the flexi mount, 
and we've got the NIT. The NIT is basically just search protection, extra search protection for your devices. Wouldn't hurt to, to protect your devices. And then the the mounts, the 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 J mount and the flexi mount are just made just for just to ease installation for your for your devices. Uh, you know, just to make sure you don't waste time trying to find the right uh, mounting pole for your device and and whatnot. Um, okay, so just looking at some of the distances to give you just a, a bit of an idea. As I said, I did not put kilometers here because planning is important and I don't want to say this can do 20, this can do 15 and then you hold me to it and then we have problems. So I'll just give you long range, short range, mid range. When we talk long range, just say we're going up to 20 kilometers and you can guess, you can, um, yeah. Um, so the A5C, with the horns, you're doing short range, and then with the with the 20 dBi, you're doing mid range, and then with the 25 dBi, you're doing up to about I'd say 20, about 15 kilometers, and then for long range, obviously, then you're looking at the C5Cs, which you're going past your 20 kilometers, depending, of course, on your third party antenna, which is why the C5C was introduced to break through that bend that that um, that, um, how do I say, to break through the 20 kilometer limit on the 25 dBi um, dish antenna. Okay, and then just quickly looking at how the NID would be installed. So this is how it would look on the outside of your home. You would have the C5X paired with the dish antenna, you know, your mounting your flexi or your J mount choice of, for, of your, depending on your application. And then you've got the NID with the, um, copper rod um, into the ground, which will obviously drive the search away from your device. And guys, this is an extra hundred bucks. You know, it can protect some of the, the bigger devices that cost thousands of rands, and it wouldn't hurt for you to spend an extra hundred rand to protect a, a thousand rand device. And you know, if something had to happen, at least your, your thousand rand device is protected, and all you have to do is replace maybe your NID or something like, but you don't have to go and now spend, you know, replacing a massive uh, backhaul radio or, or an access point. Um, and then of course, just to look at a few of the, the design tool, I will not go too much into that. As I said, that is accessible to anyone. You simply just have to sign into Mimosa, um, sign, up, sign up and um, you will have full access to this. So there's the design tool, which is really awesome, um, super simple. Uh, you obviously just enter your coordinates, enter the devices you're looking to use, and uh, just a few more questions, as you can see over there. You know the height, um, the mount, the height of the mount, the client mount, uh, the antenna, and it will give you the most accurate, the best possible. Um, accuracy that it can, and as you can see over here, it will give you your coverage. Um, depending on, of course, what you've put. And obviously the darker, the further it goes, the more, you know, you will have a bit of, uh, your throughput might uh, be a little less than what it would in, in this area, but, you know, it's giving you uh, quite an accurate representation of how far you can get and, and how the coverage would be in that certain area. But listen, um, just note that this isn't, you know, set on stone. If if it says that that's going to happen, and you go there and you see there's something in the way, maybe there's a tree, there's a new building. So it's always important that after you use something like a design tool, you go and do like a site inspection just to make sure that everything is is in accordance. Nothing has been chopped down or put up, or you know something that might be unexpected. So it's always important after doing such, such, using such tools that you actually go out and, and check out the site for yourself. Um, okay, and, and that's also part of the design, so it will give you exactly a full breakdown of all the devices. Obviously, the red we wouldn't want to go and use because that's just not good enough. And then looking at the greener um, results, that means, listen, these are the options, these are good to, um, results. These are devices that you could look at using. But like I said, super easy um, to use. If you are unable to, please um, contact Miro and we will do planning for you at no cost to you. We are happy to help you with that. 
Okay, so guys, I have come to the end of this presentation. Um, just to summarize what we've gone through. So the performance, yes, we've got some really good performance on these devices. As I said to you, you know, six rand per megabit per second, that's really cheap. Um, you know, it's a cost-effective solution. And, and also, um, you know, I've had a lot of clients who are very, very happy with their products and the performance of their products. And as I mentioned, if you, this is maybe be the first time you're trying this out, you're welcome to come and do a POC, which means you will then take the products, test it. Um, you know, if it doesn't work, you bring it back. If it works, you keep it. Obviously, there are more terms and conditions which you can reach out to us for, but we do offer POCs. Um, and then the next thing is ease of use. So it's super, super easy to use. And also, you'll see that um, once you've unlocked the device and start using it, the user interface is, is super easy to get around. And it's usually not as intense as some other um, brands, um, you know, cloud-based um, softwares might be. Um, and then the next thing is product design. As you can see in the presentation, it was really good-looking products. They're lightweight. Um, you know, they, 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 you would rather have one of those CPEs on your roof than, I don't know, cables hanging off your home or you know, cables popping through the ground and just looks untidy. So this is um, something to to keep in mind if you want to do a very neat job. Um, these are type of products you could look at. And then the value cost per bit. Of course, we said that yes, it is as it is more cost effective than you know deploying deploying uh, fiber and some of your other alternative technologies out there that are a bit more pricey, but then, you know, you can always um, compare them and then you'll find that Mosa actually is quite affordable for, for, for your application and you, you will not be um, disappointed. Okay, and then let's see the last point there. The second last point is the technology. Obviously, I've mentioned the GPS sync, which has is a GPS chip in every device. Um, non-intrusive, um, SRS, and then you've got extended frequencies, you've got the dual link. So the dual link is more of, of a point-to-point -point radio uh, feature, but if you guys want to know more about that on the point-to-point -point stuff, please email me as I mentioned. You've got the extended frequencies, and then you've got support. Now this is something to brag about, and I will a little bit, because um, you know, you've got a lot of um, uh, brands out there that don't have the best support and for me that's you know for any client actually that is very very important because if you're on site you're stranded you don't have help you know it can get frustrating and you will never trust that brand again which is which is horrible and we do not want that so with Mimosa um, you know they've they've decided they're going to have two um, support centers one based in in um, in the US and the other based in Turkey. And how this works is that obviously when the one is, is when it's nighttime and on the one side, it's morning time on the other side, which means you have 27, 24 seven um, live support. Guys, I kid you not, it's live support. So if you go onto their website and you check out their, their, um, their, their support page, you will see a little icon pop up that says um, chat with chat with us or something like that. It's a little orange icon. You click on that, guys. I kid you not. You put in your details, type in your questions. Within a minute, you have someone supporting you, not some machine, not some generic, you know, um, response. No, no, no. You have a live support technician chatting to you. And, and assisting you. And if for whatever reason your page bombs out, your internet bombs out, they will immediately email you to tell you, listen, uh, we've noticed that um, you have not uh, responded to this chat or finalized this chat. Um, is everything okay? Uh, you know, they are very, very helpful, guys. Like I promise you, you will not regret the um, using uh, Mimosa when it comes to their support. Of course, Miro is here for you guys. But as you know, we are limited to how many days we are open a week and how many hours.
but it's always nice to have that backup knowing that, okay, mirror's closed now. It's now eight o'clock. I'm on site. Mirror's closed. What do I do? You quickly hop on to, to Mimosa's website and start a live chat and they will help you out, which is, which is, I believe, something um, valuable for any Mimosa client. Okay, so that's everything, guys. Um, I hope that was informative. I don't know if I covered everything. I hope I did. I hope I didn't confuse you. This was just an introduction session. This was just the FYI overview, um, you know, in terms of technical technicalities and more um, that type of information. You're welcome to, to you know, either pop, um, jump onto Neuro Academy where all that is available or you can call our support team or you can email me. Um, to find out more about these products, specs, or whatever questions I might not have covered here. Um, but yes, this is basically a Mimosa's point-to-multi-point -point offering, long distance, short distance, micro pop this um, solution. Um, but yes, it's a very, very cool product. I urge you to try it out. If you're a bit hesitant, we are here for you. We will help you out with planning. We'll help you out with POCs. Um, but I promise you will not regret making uh, Mimosa your product of choice for your network. And as as I said, I would like to thank you so much for taking time out of your day for this. And I have a little, um, oh yes, before I go, sorry guys. Um, this session has been brought to you by Grandstream, a product that we also um, sell here at Miro. Um, so for any of you who are interested in this for your business, you know, since now COVID is, is still around, um, and you guys are working from home and you want to use a reliable platform, please come chat to us about it. It's Grand Streams IP Video Talk.